Hey guys, I ended up getting some garage cabinets. I ended up getting uh, three cabinets, which is uh, 30 inches by 72 by 18. And I ended up getting two uh, tabletops. These are, both of them are 72 inches long, uh, around 18 inches wide, just like the cabinets. And what it is, the uh, cabinets have like these little anchors that you put into the side to hold the uh, tabletops. And this is the cheapest way that I can find to do the back, back of the garage here. So it's gonna go all the way across. I've got one of the boxes open and uh, this is what it looks like out of the box. I put all the pieces on cardboard, except for this one. I ran out of cardboard to put it on. And it looks like they're scratched, but it's got plastic film over it. So you just peel it off when you get done. And uh, yeah, just all the scratches is on the uh, plastic, hopefully. But other than that, it looks really good. I went with the Husky. It's got a real nice logo on it. I actually really like the handles in that chrome. I've already got the other toolbox. So I pretty much have like three tabletops going across. Do one here, cabinet, tabletop, cabinet, tabletop, cabinet. And I got these on sale, guys, so it's a whole lot cheaper than what I would have paid regular price. Hey, buddy. You see the cabinets? This is what we went to go get. You gonna ride your bicycle? Uh, we ended up picking this bicycle up for him the other day. He loves this thing. Let me open the door for you. He likes running in and out through the doors. Uh, here's the new floor that I did. It's still holding up for what it is. I need to get gutters on the garage. Got a little bit of water coming through the doors. Okay, so each part's labeled pretty good. Uh, this one's G. And this one's B. And you want to look for this part. Goes at the bottom. On each side. <clears throat> and then you want to put the, the bottom on. And it will look like this. It's got a bunch of holes at the bottom. You just slide them in together. And then you want to open your bag. Grab you one of these. And you want to put the small part at the top, the wide part at the bottom. There's a screw here. And then getting ready to put those on. Yeah, they're pretty good size though. It's gonna look good. Alrighty, and the bottom, the wide part goes to the inner part. The skinny part goes to the outer part on the cabinet. Yeah, I got all four of them on. Uh, they're all loose. I'm getting ready to tighten them up and anchor them. Here we go. Okay, about the time to speed it up. It comes with a bit. So I don't have to use that little thing. All right, here we go. Uh, you might need your extension like this. Uh, Makes it a little easier. The magnet didn't hold it. Uh, the tool I'm using using the Ryobi One Plus. So far, these tools are pretty good. It's not bad. 
Okay, so I grabbed the A section. Got these little spots all the way across. Uh, you want to spread each side out and then just kind of slide it in from the bottom and then push them together. Okay, so I was wanting to take this off before I actually assembled it. It's all the extra plastic. Okay, before you can mount these, I would suggest to take the plastic off all the way around the outer side right here. And then you can go ahead and mount those. That'll make it a whole lot easier. Okay, this is what the back looks like finished. It said to make sure you hand tighten the back so you can realign the front for the doors. Got it picked up. Here's the fun part. Woo, look how shiny. Okay, to line the doors up, I had to get somebody to hold the cabinet where they lined up like that. And I had to tighten all the back screws. And then while she held it, held it straight where she thought it was. I tighten these up here on each side and at the bottom, I tighten them. Okay, and they, it lines up pretty good. Once you adjust the feet and stuff, it'll tilt it to where you need to and you can anchor it to the wall. So right now I'm in the step of putting the shelves in. There's three shelves and it comes with these little holding brackets. And you get uh, different areas where you can put them. I'm going to put the first shelf that I have up. And then it's got on the inside here. All right, so the next shelf, I'm probably going to go up to here. Just slide it in and it slides into the groove there. That's super easy. So easy, I did it with one hand. All right, and then I got one more set. And I'm probably gonna put those, maybe like right there, I'm not sure. I'll have to see what it looks like. <laughs> when I get a shelf in there. All right, got the shelves in. All right, I got the rest of them put in. Uh, this board over here was a little bit too long to have the toolbox there. So I'm gonna have to cut the board and just make it a little bit shorter than 72. I think I gotta cut four inches off. So it's not bad. I think it looks really good filled in the back wall. Don't look empty no more. And I like where it hugs the wall so good. You can pull in a car easy and everything. Still got plenty of room too. You can open it all the way. Then I was gonna do the ceiling and get some different lights. These are the old timey lights. It's got those huge bulbs. 
I just want them to put me some LEDs in. Okay, I cut the board. Cut about four inches off. And bam, there she is. Here's where I cut it. Lines up really good. All right, here's the finished product, uh, left to right. Mm-hmm. <laughs>